Next up is getting the spacebar right. Model F keyboard spacebars are highly adjustable, so you can dial in the kind of spacebar you want to some degree. This is a key you will be pressing a lot, so it's a good idea to get it right before proceeding, because it is trickier to adjust the spacebar after you have installed all the keys. Sometimes the spacebar requires adjustment after these keyboards are unfortunately bounced around in shipping. Sometimes they are bounced around so much that you have to reinstall the spacebar entirely. In general, adjusting the spacebar is a matter of slightly bending the spacebar wire so it performs optimally, and maybe adjusting the tabs too. Definitely more of an art than a science. When the spacebar gets stuck in my QC process, I usually take the wire with two hands, with the long part of the wire closest to my thumbs, and use both thumbs to very slightly push up the wire. I do this a few times, but not too hard that the bend becomes noticeable. That way the wire is pushed out of the way enough of the metal stabilizer tabs so that there is a little room. If the stabilizer wire is too close to the back of the metal tabs, the wire can get in the way of normal spacebar operation. This will also make the spacebar wire ever so slightly wider in the two places where it connects to the spacebar itself. Check to make sure the spacebar wire is underneath the top of the metal tab for both tabs. You can tighten up the spacebar actuation and reduce rattle by removing the spacebar wire from the spacebar and tightening the left and right parts of the wire so that they are moved inwards, but not so much so that the bar cannot be reinstalled to the spacebar. If you need to separate the stabilizer wire from the spacebar, always hold the spacebar upside down and make sure that the wire is flat against the spacebar. Then you can pull the spacebar wire from one end in order to separate it from its hole in the spacebar. Always remove the spacebar wire stabilizer from the spacebar wire before adjusting it. If you just try to pull the wire straight off or push on to the spacebar, you may break the spacebar's little tabs. The metallic twang or reverberation or ringing is definitely the sound I am going for, but there are ways of reducing it. One can also carefully push down the metal spacebar tabs for a reduction in the rattling sound. Always push the side of the spacebar wire, whose tab you want to adjust, towards the metal tab in order to get that wire nearly touching the back of the metal tab before you push down that tab. Then repeat for the other side. Pushing down these metal tabs may make the spacebar require heavier force to actuate. If you push these tabs down too much, the spacebar may get stuck frequently. And also, by pushing the spacebar wire down, it's a little more tricky to remove the spacebar. Some other methods to change the spacebar sound is by using electrical tape, where the stabilizer meets the clips, or applying heat shrink to the spacebar. Check out the written manual for more details. If the spacebar is not actuating, Test with another key, like a 1U size key, to make sure the spring is good. If the 1U key works, then you can carefully remove and reseat the spacebar. This key's tabs are easily broken, so please be careful. For keyboards shipped in 2020 or earlier, if the spacebar gets stuck, push down a little on the metal tabs. The updated production rounds shortened the metal tabs slightly to eliminate that issue of the tab end making contact with the spacebar. If your spacebar lags a bit, you just need to loosen the clips a touch with a screwdriver, or you may need to bend the stabilizer wire a bit. I believe that the nice spacebar thud sound and minimizing rattle is highly contingent on the proper placement of the metal tabs relative to the stabilizer wire. Bending the stabilizer wire slightly away from the metal tab ends results in a more rattly spacebar with a lighter actuation force that some people prefer, while pushing too much towards the metal tab ends can slightly increase actuation force for the spacebar. Excellent spacebar stability and sound is most likely to occur when the wire is directly against the back of the metal tab or very close to it. Another way of reducing the spacebar force slightly is to squeeze the stems of the key as described later on in the wiggle method section. Regarding squeaky spacebars, that is nearly always the case of adjusting or slightly stretching or replacing the spring rather than due to the spacebar stabilizer wire. A squeaking or stuck spacebar is often due to a bad spring combined with the need to slightly adjust the bend of the spacebar stabilizer wire. You can replace the spring without opening up the keyboard by using tweezers, as shown later on. Spacebar seating issues. Likely the spacebar tabs have been pushed down too much or not enough, or the spacebar wire is bent out of shape. It should be precisely rectangular as a starting point. Also, the spacebar should be installed as shown, with the spacebar end up but a 40 degree angle. This is a little different from the keyboard angle, 
when installing all the other keys. 